Hi, welcome to the Pursuit of Truth. Um, I suspect most people have already seen uh, Sandra as a Coolpix P900s video for Sheeps and Eeps Dares. Uh, if you haven't, uh, sad news that he passed away yesterday, that's the 13th of August 2019 at 7pm after battling cancer um, with natural means or alternative means but like I said previously because I know that people now will question whether it was the right thing to do especially with flat earth female she also had cancer but obviously they're different cancers and we don't know what stages they were at and she she didn't use chemotherapy she I think she only used radiotherapy and she's um, pulled through um, but of course the problem is with you know like I said before with these the alternatives is is there so many of them if you look on YouTube if, you know when he was on Sun and Moon people would be suggesting this that and the other and there's so many different things and you don't know which ones were which combinations may interact against each other and other things that may stop them from working like with other with the say mainstream medication and we know that some things can can stop the medication from working if you take them at the same time you know, like anti-acid say for example so the problem is because there's no proper I use the word scientific study of alternative medicines you know that there's nothing you, people can just go straight to it and know that it's 100 percent going to work there's it's a uh, you have to keep going through different things because I know Sheep's uh, Dez was trying lots of different things. And it may be because of the type of cancer or where it was or how strong it was, but he fought so long and... And it just seems strange now to think that he's gone. I think the thing is also because he took us all with him on this journey. Um, he didn't hide away from it. You know, he showed us <laughs> lots of insight into this disease lots of pain lots of suffering when he was in the hospital the treatment he received there <laughs> when he was told off was it sitting on the grass or showing his pain too much outside just in case people coming by would see or you know all that kind of stuff that we were privy to see because of his endeavors I thought, I guess, in my mind that we would see maybe a bit more towards the end. I suppose the thing is you don't you don't know when the end is going to be. You know, you're expecting like an end video of goodbye and this, that and the other. But I guess he wouldn't have known when, you know. I know that the, the person that I knew who went and had cancer before went into a, like a coma. So you don't know when that's going to happen and then there's no chance saying goodbye and I guess I, I was thinking we might see maybe a bit more of him to 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 detail this because I, I was feeling that sometimes we hide the the pain and death aspect of things and he didn't he he talked about it readily and he showed his pain and I think that was important because people see cancer on television and they don't see the pain, the suffering um, and you only really see it when someone you love goes through it or when you experience it yourself so I was hoping to, for to, that to be explored more So, because the thing is is if you only see it from, from movies you have this cold understanding of cancer maybe people don't have that emotional connection that anger that if they see someone in pain like when we saw Des in pain it angered us. Why is this happening? And we need that sometimes to kick us into to making these changes. Because people can't keep dying of cancer in this day and age. We need to, I mean, if there is a cure with GCMAF, which some people say there is, then that needs to be explored. And a pharmaceutical company should be explored, but I know you know, it's because of it's natural and also because of, I assume they don't own the patent and, and there's a money aspect to it maybe 
I, I don't know. It's the problem is, is <sighs> there's just so much, and it's just. But I think the one thing we can all agree on is it's just wrong that this suffering is still taking place today. And um, yeah, anyway, so um, Sandra Coolpick's P900 per is a very nice video of, of explaining what happened and pictures of deaths from his channel. And I'm sure, like me, there'll be people going back to his channel, listening to bits and, and remembering him. Because there was a lot that he did, a lot that he talked about when it comes to truth, when it comes to flat earth, when it comes to HGO, when it comes to cancer, when it comes to Cavendish, or all these different aspects that he, he brought to those people seeking truth in his uh, unique style. But yeah, he will be missed. Because he was a strong character who who didn't mince his words and yeah, you had to get used to him and he was you know, you always knew you know, when Des was there. I guess like like Dow was saying on the beyond the imaginary curve that it's transitory and we're you know, this is just one chapter's closed and there's another chapter awaiting him now. He'll be looking down on us, saying, get the fuck. <laughs> and, and I hope smiling that people are thinking about him. The other thing I wanted to mention is the, the idea I had before, the minute silence. Originally, it was because of death. I know I didn't say, but at the time, it was thinking about him that that idea came into my head and I don't know whether that's possible now. Unfortunately, I don't have enough reach to make it uh, as important as it should be. But that idea that we all do a minute silence, originally I was thinking we do it all at the same time, but I don't know if it's better we do it all at different times so that it maximises, uh, you know, because if it's only for a minute, but then if everyone does it, like if a hundred people do it at the same time, then maybe it will clog up YouTube and everyone will notice and it'll become something so that Des's memory is, is, is there in the sense that because originally I had a, the tag I'll have to look up the video I'll try and put it in the link up here so you can see the original idea because I had a, that everyone uses the same subject and it has like flat earth and cancer and truth and all that kind of stuff in there just not too long but short enough and then you can put whatever you like in your description so that it, it gets that message that he was trying to get across in a in a way and also remembering him in a minute silence because we do so many minute silences for so many people and so many things that maybe we don't even really adhere to or, or follow so that's why I thought it'd be I don't know whether that's a good idea or not um, but I'll put it in the link for the original video idea in there and then I guess if people think it's a good idea, then if they pass it on to other people, they make videos about it as well, uh, so that we get the numbers, because that's the most important thing if we want to get noticed, if we want this message of theirs is, you know, about flat earth and H2O and, and cancer to get noticed. It's just one way of doing it, I guess. All right. Take care. Take it easy. God bless and peace.